Hey guys, today's video is about our trip yesterday to Hawking Hills in southern Ohio. You have to see this if you ever visit Ohio. It's just something you don't expect to see here. It's such a beautiful place. Hawking Hills is part of the Allegheny Plateau. It has cliffs, gorges, rock shelters, caves, massive sandstone outcroppings, beautiful hemlocks, and waterfalls. Unfortunately, all of the waterfalls were dry yesterday because of the lack of rain in the last couple months here, but it was still beautiful. There are miles and miles of trails. Some are easier to do and others can be quite difficult. We took more of the difficult ones. All the trails are marked well and you can also get a map at the visitor center. The sandstone formations have been created by the consolidation and cementation of layers of loose sand over millions of years. All of the rock formations like the caves and the rock outcroppings have been formed by natural erosion and weathering. There are many species of trees also, hemlocks probably being the most prolific, I would say. There's also, also an abundance of wildlife in the park, from insects to creatures living in the waters of the lakes and the streams. Although a lot of the wildlife is probably not seen regularly because of the popularity and the amount of people being there each day, we did see a snake and a large turtle. The area is home to mammals like white-tailed deer, fox, groundhogs, skunks, and even bobcats. And there's a lot more mammals too. A little history on Hawking. Hawking was first inhabited by humans during the close of the Ice Age as artifacts made by humans have been found in the areas in this area dating back to that time period. Native American tribes also inhabited Hawking from between 1 AD to the 1700s. Hawking Hills became a hiking attraction in the 1860s. Then in the early 1900s Hawking was threatened by the forestry and lumber industry. Luckily the state purchased the land and saved the area's beautiful forest from being cleared. Hawking Hill State Park is approximately 2,000 acres and it's surrounded by 9,238 acres of the Hawking State Forest. Although much of the trails and everything about the park is natural, some man-made improvements like bridges, boardwalks, and steps have been built for easier accessibility when hiking. All of the man-made things fit well into the scenery, and they do not deter from the beautiful landscape and views. We hiked two of the longest trails, and probably the hardest ones, and we covered over eight miles yesterday. It's absolutely gorgeous, but you need to come prepared, especially with water, um, if you're going to be on one of the longer hikes like we did. Some trails are easier to travel, and some are very difficult. The trails we took were fairly difficult in areas, with steep climbs up root-covered rocks and steep descents. Uh, areas are slippery because there's, there's natural springs coming out of the hills, so you have to be very careful. I filmed as much as I could, and even though I'm in pretty good shape, I stopped filming probably about halfway through our journey yesterday because it was exhausting and trying to hold the camera and walk over all of that stuff and climb and, and to go down the steep descents was very difficult but I tried to get as much footage as I could. Uh, there are campgrounds and picnic areas scattered around the edges of the park also it's a great place to have a picnic and also to camp and that's what we're planning on doing next time is to is to camp uh, because we had a three hour trip there and then back and then hours of hiking in between. So if you do go there, I, I recommend camping. Or, or They also have these beautiful cabins that you can rent. And they're not very expensive. We had an awesome time, and this was a great place to explore. I also took a bunch of pictures and put together a slideshow for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, thank you for watching today. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Take a look at where we're at.
We are at one of the most beautiful places in Ohio. It's awesome here. Right now we're at a big cave. It's gigantic. This is kind of like the place we were at last week, that Dundee Falls, but like a thousand times bigger. And surrounded by rock formations and waterfalls everywhere and streams, so you get to see it today because I'll take you around with me. Right now I'm just under this huge overhang. Like, I don't even know how to say it. It goes out over us like probably 50 feet and then way, way down. I guess this isn't uh, considered a cave. I don't know. It's really cool, whatever it is. Yeah. Walking down out of that cave now. There's some dogs barking down here. Some kind of pond. That's cool. And then there's the cave we were just up in. Just stuff you don't see in Ohio. The stairs are this is really cool. We got a we're walking under the rocks. Going down underneath the mountain. Catch you. <laughs> and out of the mound. Had to duck a little bit. There's the cave from the other side of the. It's probably hard to show how big it is, but it's gigantic. There is a ton of hiking here. It's just miles and miles and miles of steps and trails. And it's tiring. I'm sure this video doesn't even come close to showing what this place is like, but it's amazing. Look at that. There's two rocks and a crack in between. I can't get all the way over, but it goes all the way through. It's, it's been 10 years since I've been here. And last time I was here, there was like <laughs> probably 10 people in this whole park. And now, like we got into the parking lot, and there's like probably a thousand cars. There's people everywhere. I remember taking a picture with my sister and her friends. We, we came down with right down there and there was nobody it was just us in the picture but there's just people everywhere that's a cool there's like a cave way up on top of that formation up there I don't know how close I can get in kind of. that's a cool cave this way. No, let's go down here. We'll slip and fall. I'm like three football fields away from that. That's the waterfall, but it's not running right now. There's people up there. Way up. There's people. Right. It's probably pretty slippery up there. I don't know. Cool, there's dogs down here. Look at these trees just growing on that rock. That's super cool. That's just a huge rock. And they're growing on top of them. I am trying to film, but it is impossible. These we've been walking for like 20 minutes and 
I cannot catch my breath. And uh, we may be calling 911 soon. <laughs> this is good exercise. I realize how far out of shape I am though. Coming here, it's not like walking through the woods, or running through the woods at my house even. Just walking is a uh, workout. So whoa, <laughs> I can't even hold the camera up. So This is such an awesome place. Look at these trails here. It's all... Like an overhang. I bet this is a, this is a waterfall yeah. too. Yeah, it probably is. Waterfalls I think so. from up there. All the waterfalls are dry here. It's crazy. And there's a little tiny pool <laughs> down there. But yeah, in the spring, this is a waterfall. We'll see it when we come back. A really steep one here. Here, somehow, gotta grab on the roots to climb up here. Oh, there's a cool cave or something down here. I kind of lost my group because I was filming back there. This is awesome. If you guys are ever in Ohio, Hawking Hills is just a beautiful place to come and spend the day. It's near Logan, Ohio, but you can look up Hawking Hills on... Oh, this is a low ceiling. Oh, my thumb's blurry. You can look it up on the internet. I do not know which way my group went. <laughs> we'll catch up to them. Kids playing in this water. It's pretty cool. A little pond. Yes. Found a really cool rock. Just mean bottom maybe. Falling off the mountain. Upper. Solid rock with trees growing, growing out of it. Yeah. It's cool. It's a huge rock. It's like probably 50 feet across. It's hard to judge sizes and distances in this video. We just found another cave. We're gonna walk back to it and explore a little bit. Kind of hard to see back there. It's really deep. Here we go. Kathleen. Here's this cave. No, you're not going back there. <laughs> Kathleen, it's cool. come on. There's poo back there and you can get diseases from it. Somebody pooped in the cave. <laughs> oh, come back up I guess this way, uh, when you're like come on, have to come way out in the middle hill. of nowhere. Come on. There's better places to go though. Here's a cool cave. Look at that rock. It kind of fell off the mountain up there and it's sideways. But it's kind of a... You don't want to go in it like that. I'm not going all the way back in there. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Holy cow. That's cool. It goes way back there. I'm not going in there though, because I've got a huge backpack on. Okay, it's break time. I'm carrying around this backpack it weighs about probably 30 pounds it probably wasn't the best idea but I thought I would bring some stuff to in case we needed things <laughs> a lot of camera equipment and towels and band-aids and a bunch of crap that probably don't need but oops. we're taking a break this is really cool No 
I hear people, but I can't see them. Oh, there's some. They're way up there. That's some water. Yeah. But,